This question looks so simple at first glance, but as we start solving, you will see how tricky it actually is. We have a triangle whose this angle is 45 degree and this length is 5 units. Now, when we draw a perpendicular line from this vertex to this side of the triangle, we get this side length as 2 and this is 3. If the length of this perpendicular line is x, our job is to find the value of x. So, can you solve it? First, consider this right triangle. Let this hypotenuse be of length a. So we get a squared equals x squared plus 2 squared or 4. So a equals square root of this. Now consider this left triangle. Let this hypotenuse be of length b. So we get b squared equals x squared plus 3 squared or 9. So b equals the square root of this. Now what will be the area of this big triangle? It will be base times height over 2. So it will be 5 times x over 2. Now here comes the real magic. When we have a triangle whose this side is a and this side is b, and if this angle is C, then the area of this triangle is given by half times AB times sine of angle C. Substitute A and B from here and put C as 45 degree to get the area of this triangle as this. We have sine of 45 equals 1 over square root of 2. So put it here. Since both of them are equal to the area of this triangle, therefore equate them to get this. First, cancel out these two from both sides. And then take root to this side like this. Now, square both sides to remove this square root. So we get x squared plus 4 times x squared plus 9 equals square of this. So the left side gives us this. To get x to the power of 4, you need to multiply this to x squared. To get 9 times x squared, you need to multiply these two. To get 4 times x squared, you multiply this. And finally to reach 36, you multiply 9 and 4. As we go forward, we get this for the left side. Now, let's move the right side to the left side. So, we got this. Now, I write minus 37 like minus x squared minus 36 times x squared. So, I can factor out x squared from these two and factor out minus 36 from these two. Then I factor out x squared minus 1 from both terms. Then I reach x squared minus 36. Since the multiplication of two terms equals 0, either the first one is 0 or the second one is 0. So this gives us x equals plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 6. But x cannot be negative because it is the side length of this triangle and therefore x equals either 1 or 6. But out of these two values, x equals 6 is the correct answer. Can you let me know why in the comments? Hint is to use Euclidean theorem, which is this. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until then, wish you a wonderful time.